okay welcome you all for today video today on notes i will explain some practical chemistry experiment i start from uh, electrochemistry electrochemical experiments so i will explain the electrochemical cell and how can we find out the electromotive force or emf of that electrochemical cell by using this type of potentiometer you can see this is the potentiometer it contain 1 meter length two wires like a guitar cord uh, so this is the potentiometer it has a scale 1 meter scale and uh, we can find out the emf or standard electromotive force of a particular cell we build up in the laboratory uh, called electrochemical cell and i will explain everything in this uh, potentiometer uh, experiment however before starting that uh, for that potentiometer experiment we need electrochemical cell and uh, except electrochemical cell we need the non voltage contained uh, cell like lead accumulator we need a lead accumulator or standard cell uh, its voltage we have to know correctly so uh, this is the lead accumulator uh you can see uh it contain battery acid and uh these two electrodes so it should have a known uh, volt voltage value so i use a volt voltmeter to check the voltage of this uh, particular lead accumulator so the typical lead accumulator has uh, its voltage is equal to 2 so the voltage of this lead accumulator should be 2 volts so i will check the voltage uh here positive terminal and here negative terminal its voltage is nearly 1 so it should be 2 so uh one points so one point two nine something it's voltage so it is discharged so its voltage should be uh nearly two so we have to charge this battery uh before starting the reaction or experiment before starting the experiment we have to charge this battery so before charge yeah, here we have charger battery charger so before charging we have to check the uh, acid level of this battery as you can see this is the level uh, the battery, battery acid should in the correct level in between these two lines these two lines so we have to adjust um, acid level by adding battery acids to this battery so uh, i'm going to charge four lead accumulators so every of them contain lower level of battery acid so i will refill the battery as uh, this uh, batteries with battery acid and i will charge it i will explain how to charge these batteries so okay uh, now i'm going to explain uh, the method to charge batteries how to charge batteries so in laboratory we they provided us a battery charger every lab should have a battery charger this type of 12 volt battery charger so uh, before starting this uh, charging we have to uh, undergo safety precautions so uh, we using battery acids battery acid mean sulfuric acid diluted sulfuric acid so uh, somewhat hazardous uh, because this is somewhat diluted product however it is acidic so we have to get safety precautions uh before starting this experiment actually not experiment uh, charging so uh it's better if we have a lab coat 
uh, laboratory coat however unfortunately uh, in this situation I do not have a lab coat so uh, I will use this hand glasses and uh, this safety glass to prevent uh, a spill of chemicals into my eyes. However, uh, first of all we have to refill these batteries up to this uh, proper level. So, I will open its lid and I will fill battery acids like this. Okay. Now, the acid level is came up to the mark that is sufficient. Uh, in this uh, charging process we have to remove the leads. Uh, okay, this is our first cell, this is our second. So, uh, second cell you have to refill it that is sufficient next battery normally in uh, your if you are university student or uh, researcher student, the technical officers will do this uh, charging process. You do not have to charge your battery, but uh, it is bet better to know the method how to charge. So, I will get another lead accumulator. Okay. all are up to the mark every cell contain sulfuric acid up to its mark now how can we charge so we have to connect these every these four cells i use four cells because its uh, voltage is 12 volts so if uh, if we charge one cell it is uh, uh, somewhat dangerous because uh, so because of that I will use 4 cells. Uh, uh, so, we have to connect all of these cells in uh, series circuit according to series circuit. So, how is that? There are two types of circuits now parallel circuit and series circuit. So, we have to uh, connect these uh, 4 cells in according to series connection method. So, here you can see here uh, this is the positive charge I cannot show you that because um, I will add a photograph however uh, I will arrange them into a correct order of the uh, electrodes here this is the positive electrode here front front electrode is positive back uh, backside electrode is negative this red red is indicating positive terminal or positive electrode so i will connect positive terminal of this charger to the first cell and the negative ter uh, negative terminal of this charger i will connect to the negative terminal of last so, last lead accumulator ok I connected the positive terminal of this charger to one lead accumulators first lead accumulators positive terminal and the negative terminal of this uh, charger I connected to uh, last lead accumulators negative terminal. Now we have to connect other cells to this circuit in series manner. How can we do that? Here, this positive terminal is here. I will connect that positive terminal to the negative terminal of 
this this cell and its positive terminal i will connect with the negative terminal of the second cell and its positive terminal i will connect with the negative terminal of first lead accumulator it is in series circuit so electron will flow in one direction in one direction so so now it's start charging uh, there is a indicator if the charging is uh, if the circuit is correctly connected we can see a bubbling in this electrodes if not there may be a error connection problem of wires uh, if the wires are loosely connected there may be a problem can you see this cell can you see this here you can see bubbling bubbling means uh, the reaction of this cell started that means the uh, cell is connected properly for the main circuit can you understand that here also in this cell also we can see the bubbling of one electrode that mean we connected our circuit properly so these cells are charging now bubbling is indicating of charging so this is the battery charger it connected for uh, our normal voltage uh, the positive terminal of this charger connected for the positive terminal of this uh, first battery here the positive sign you can see that so this is our second battery however the negative terminal of this uh, charger is connected for the last battery's negative uh, negative charge so uh, other things connected in series manner like this Neg positive charge of this last battery is connected to the negative charge of this battery and its positive charge is connected for the uh, negative charge of second battery and its positive charge connected for the negative charge of first battery so it all of them connected in series manner so electron will flow in one direction that is the uh, that is all about the charging process of a battery of the battery Let okay students uh, now you can see clearly uh, the charging process how can we identify the charging uh, the indication of charging is bubbling uh, near the electrodes you can see uh, some, uh, air bubbles produced in near uh, in these electrodes and they will elaborate like this uh, you know that in battery acid uh, battery acid is a solution of diluted sulfuric acid so it will produce hydrogen uh, so because of production of hydrogen uh, this type of uh, bubbling uh, reaction we can identify not only this cell carefully observe this electrode also you can see a bubbling and third this cell also you can see bubbling and the final cell they are also carefully look at the left side one electrode you can see a bubbling process so all are bubbling mean all are charging so all are connected in series as a series circuit like this because of this elaboration of uh, air bubbles we always uh, should do the charging process after removing the lids so this is the charger 
okay so now batteries are charging after charging process we can use these lead accumulators to potentiometer experiment okay goodbye